Hi, this is LD, and with Cooking Can Be Fun. Today I have a very special guest, my son Louis, and we will be making Mayhall jelly today. It's a classic southern favorite. So what we have here is one quart of Mayhalls that uh, were collected from South Arkansas, and we picked them over a period of time, waiting for them to be nice and red and ripe, and we put them into a freezer like a Ziploc bag. So our first step today in making the Mayhall jelly is we're going to have to make a juice, so we're going to boil these. So let's head off to the stovetop. We placed the Mayhalls in the pot. We placed one quart of water with Mayhalls, which is an equal amount of Mayhalls to water. Then we're going to bring this to a full boil and we'll cook it, turn the temperature down a little bit at that point and then cook the Mayhalls until they're tender. Okay, so the Mayhalls have uh, come to a complete boil. It took a few minutes. So we're going to turn the flame down just to uh, allow the mayhaws to simmer for a little bit until the mayhaws get uh, nice and tender. So we let the mayhaws simmer for about 30 minutes and now the mayhaws have the juice is this kind of really nice uh, pinkish color and also while the uh, juice was being boiled we off to the side in separate pots we have the jars boiling we're bringing them to a boil and then also the lids uh, need to be brought to a boil to sterilize them. And you know, as we continue this process of finishing up the juice, then we'll be obviously jarring the jelly. Now we're ready to strain the juice. It's, we uh, do that through a, a strainer here, and Lewis is going to pour that. Next, we use a, a tool that presses the rest of the juice from the may holes and also adds a little bit more flavor. So now we're going to do a final strain of the Mayhaw juice. There's a little bit of sediment inside there after we did it through the first strainer. So this is a actually made uh, for this purpose jelly bag, which is very fine mesh and it's going to get all the, the sediment out of the uh, juice. So once that drains out, we'll be ready to move on to the next step. In this small saucepan, we place three fourths cup of cold water. And to that, we add the sure gel, which is a petkin, and we slowly add this to the cold water, and you stir it. We've got it at a rolling boil, and we're timing it for two minutes. And once the two minutes is over, then we remove it from heat. So we boil the pectin for two minutes, and now it's got this nice, thick consistency. So we also brought the mayo juice back up to almost a boil. We've got it good and hot. So we're going to mix in the pectin, and we'll stir that in with, to the mayhaw juice. I'll try to get all of that out of there as I can. And then uh, next, we're going to add our sugar, which this is uh, four cups of sugar that we're adding to that, which I know sounds like a lot. Just add it rather slowly and stir uh, at the same time. Right. This, this is not a health food we're making in here. It's mayhaw jelly. <laughs> we have a full rolling boil right now and it's almost ready. It's a very pretty red color. The way it's dripping from the spoon, you can tell it's almost ready. This has been cooking for about an hour. Now it probably will depend on the situation and just how it looks, but we're trying to get it in, uh, I don't know if you can see here, but it's thickened up for quite a bit. So we believe it's ready for the canning process. Uh, it's got some foam in it and we're gonna skim that off the top. But as you've noticed, when it gets kind of close to being ready, the foam, it sort of moves into it dissipates, the... Dissipates, sorry. It dissipates, that's a good word. So we're going to go ahead and uh, skim some of this foam off the top. And you do need a metal spoon to, to get to remove the foam. Now we have the jars, which we've gotten sterilized and, and boiled, and we have this special funnel for the... Just for canning, it's for a canning, canning funnel. Okay, so we're going to bring it on over and we want to fill each one of these jars up until they're about one quarter, about a quarter to a half inch from the top. So hmm. You will continue to do all the jars until you run out of the uh, Mayhaw jelly. The next step is to remove the foam from each of the top the jars. And we, you use this very small spoon and you just come along and skim the foam and place it into a small container. And then, since this one's all ready to go, we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of show the process of putting the lid on. If I can get this okay. Okay, so that's the one that you just did. And um, just 
tighten it up a little bit. We'll get a rag and we'll tighten it up the rest of the way. And that's making mayo jelly. That's the end of the process. Hi, this is Aldine's grandson. If you're like me, and when you eat this and you're allergic to it, you find out that you can't breathe. So do yourself a favor and spare yourself the suffocation and just stay straight from 